So let's do the second um, Heisenberg uh, uncertainty example. So this one says a baseball of mass 0 0.15 kilograms thrown at 100 miles per hour has a momentum of 6.7 kilograms meters per second. If the uncertainty in measuring this momentum is 1.0 times 10 to the negative seventh of the momentum, Calculate the uncertainty in the baseball's position, okay? So the only thing they give you is, are the momentum and the measurement uncertainty of the momentum. So remember that uh, anytime you're looking for the actual uncertainty of something, right, in this case the momentum, it's going to be the uncertainty of that measurement times the value. Okay, so in this case, it's going to be times P there, okay? So, um, we got 1.0 times 10 to the negative seventh uncertainty, and P is 6.7 kilogram meter per second, so that means this is 6.7 times 10 to the negative 7 kilogram meters per second, okay? So that's going to be the uncertainty and the momentum, okay? So, well, we want to figure out, well, what's the uncertainty in position? So, that. Okay, so what do we need to do? Yeah, if you could close it. Well, we have to remember that formula. Do you remember it? Yeah, it's H, H form I and delta, delta P, right? Okay, so do we have it, all of that stuff? Yes, right? The only thing we need to know is H, H. that's Planck's constant, it's given to us, right? So 6.636 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds, okay? So remember the, also the conversion between joules, kilogram meter squared per second squared. But in order to do these problems, it's easier if you rearrange this to be like, one joule second squared is one kilogram meter squared. Okay, that would be just, it just be easy, okay? So, we'll figure out what's the minimum uncertainty in the position. So 6.636 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. So we're gonna do our conversion. Joule second squared, one kilogram meter squared. Divide that by four pi, and then the uncertainty and momentum, 6.7 times 10 to the negative seven kilogram meters per one second. Like that. So let's um, cancel our units. Hopefully we're going to get meters at the end. Okay, so joules cancels with joules, seconds with one of the seconds, kilograms with kilograms, meters with one of the meters, and the other second with the other second. So all we have to do now is just plug in our numbers. Okay, so let's do that together. So I get to two significant figures 
7.9 times 10 to the negative 29 meters. So that is so tiny, okay? So it's so small that for something as big as a baseball, you can't, it's imperceivable, that wavelength, okay? So, um, this number is so tiny that we'll usually use um, not quantum, not usually use quantum mechanics on these big items, okay? Questions on this one? 